Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is your ever host, host, ShadowBlade730. And since last time, I went ahead and fought a random battle just so I can learn a new tech for Robo and Ayla. First off, let's see, I want to equip her with the, um, the Charm Top, because I plan on stealing some stuff. You know what I'm stealing, viewers. <laughs> yeah, let's go and do this. Alright. Set over here. Oh, first off, there's a shiny. We get a power tab. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and give that to Ayla real quick. Really because she's going to need all the strength she can get. Mainly because during boss battles, I'm probably going to be having her use the charm top most of the time. So I'm not going to have any accessories that's really going to boost up her strength. Mainly because I really want to be able to steal as much as possible. Because a lot of bosses have a lot of tabs that we really want to obtain and exploit. But first, we have a new encounter with Mud Beasts. Yep, a couple of real dirty customers here. Well, I just call them beasts, but they're Mud Beasts. Anyway. First, first, we want to hit him with our new ability, Boogie. Boogie on down. Boogie does its dual tech, and as you can see, it casts stop on them, which is really, really nice. Now, instead of actually attacking them, we're going to try and do a little bit of charming. Because these beasts, mud beasts, whatever you want to call them, have rainbow helms to steal, which are really, really, really nice. That's why I went ahead and didn't really um, purchase anything, because we're going to be stealing a lot of really, really good stuff. Steal another rainbow helm from this beast. Nice. Can get these fellows out of here. One, mud, one beast down. Now, if you didn't stop them, they do have a couple of nasty little counterattacks. You can do some pretty good damage. But once they're stopped, and also, you can throw them in the air. Wow, 485. What a shot put. But also, as you noticed, his stop spell, uh, stop um, abilities um, wore off. And now, every time you attack him, he gets a little stronger. It's kind of like a saying. But, not. Nah. Hooray! We got that last one. Ooh, 10 tech points. That's some pretty good stuff for uh, killing these beasts. Alright, let's see if we can equip those rainbow helms. They're really, really, really nice. In fact, you can get four of them right here. Really good. Equip them 145 to 157, and it cuts lightning damage in half. It is really nice. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to put that on him just yet. Let's get these rainbow helms on them. Head up here. Yep, two more. Um, same thing as last time. Use Boogie. Boogie on down. The only problem with Boogie is Robo is a little bit slow, so it takes a little while to activate it. Boogie should stop both of them. Boogie's actually a really, really good ability, I find, in this game. Now, we are going to do a little bit of damage because we do need to eventually kill them. But before we kill them, let's go ahead and try and charm some more mermaid helps. Or rainbow helps. Mermaid. Mermaid. Rainbow helps. Oh! No, it wasn't the thought that counted. She needed to steal that rainbow helm. Now I gotta sit here and do it all over again. And hopefully we don't run out of freaking, um, whatchamacallit. Run out of, uh, stop status. So we have to reestablish Boogie. Alright, got one, one rainbow helm. So we can get rid of this fellow. Even with a Robo Tackle! Yeah, to obtain Boogie, all you have to do is get Charm for Ayla and Robo Tackle for Robo. So it's really that, not, not that difficult once you get Charm. Believe me, it is way worth it. Now, push comes to shove, you can also have um, Marley in your party, and they can actually use an ability called Double Charm, which has a much higher percentage of actually stealing. But really, with the Charm Top, I don't think you really need to on most things. I mean, there are a couple of counters where it's. You know, it helps. So we get this beast out of here. Oh. Ow, quit it. One more attack should do it. Yep, there we go. Got him. Hooray! Not only 10 tech points, but I guess better than nothing. More importantly, though, it's just those rainbow helms. They are so good. And also, um, once you kill these four, mud be uh, four beasts, um, they don't respawn, so if you want to, you can head back into the save point or go to the inn in the Earthbound Village, heal up, 
get ready because, yeah, I'm, I'm smelling something. What could that be? It's not me. I'm smelling. Oh, that's a red one and a blue one. And who's this little fellow? You shall not pass for boss battle time against the Mud Imp and the Red and Blue Beasts. Now, being beasts, they are susceptible to boogie. The only problem is you can't boogie the Mud Imp. Now, the trick here is you really can't damage the Mud Imp enough to really do anything. Because once, while the um, beasts are still alive, he takes a lot less damage. I think he takes like a third of the damage you would normally take. It's not more than that, less than that. Um, he can kick those stones and put someone to sleep. But more importantly, with um, stop on him, we want to charm the blue beast. And doing that, we get a mermaid cat. Very good piece of equipment. Um, reduces water damage by half. And we also want to charm from the actual mud imp himself. Also, another problem with this fight is, I, um, as you notice, I'm running a little bit low on MP for Isla. Boogie does require a lot out of her, as well as charming all the time. You see how he just kicked that over? Yep, now he's going to put us to sleep. But that's why I always keep at least about 20 heals. Come on, right there. On her. Now our main sense of damage, since we've charmed everything, did everything we need to do, is we're going to have Ayla and Chrono use Falcon Slash. Falcon hit. So it's attacks and a Oh, we gotta reset this boogie. Makes sense. We just, oh, only got two out of them. Uh, Alright. See, that's his little counter attack you can do. That's okay damage. Also, another reason I like bringing Robo here is Robo still has all his healing. Alright, see if we can chrono up. Okay, I'm off. Ow, quit it. Uh, yeah. We need to get some MP on Ayla. And now, let's go with another Falcon. Falcon, there we go. Yeet! Smack! Very nice, very nice, very nice. I love Falcon Hit. It's probably one of the better abilities um, I find. Especially for a certain boss fight that's coming up relatively soon. But as you notice, the stop effect, stop um, status ended so we gotta reestablish boogie yep and we boogie both of them hooray good job good job also if you notice uh, another problem is the mud imp tends to heal 150 hp as soon as possible he does that a lot so you really have to just keep up the damage go between falcon hit and if we get the robo turn and have him use his laser spin we should outrun that relatively quickly I guess that would make Robo a disco light. Since we're boogieing so much. I know, horrible joke, but hey, had to do it. Had to do it. Take so another falcon hit. Cut smack. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Alright. Should have about one or two more falcon strikes and we should have it. I like how the um the Mud Imp, how he actually inspires his two beasts to battle is he like kicks a rock at him and says, Hey, go do something, get mad. Alright, let's see. Go for another Falcon Strike. Shouldn't have too much HP left. Very nice, very nice. Oh, Boogie wore, wore off. They should have taken enough damage. I don't think we have to reestablish Boogie. I don't have to worry about Boogie, I'm more worried about Robo healing the party. Oh, that's not cool. Okay, heal beam, heal beam, heal beam. Very nice. I love heal beam. Robo is so good with that ability. Multi targets, does a good amount of healing. So nice. Falcon. Oh no, crap. See, that's one of the things I hate about this battle is if you've registered a dual tech like Falcon hit and he decides to put one of your um, party to sleep, then it kind of null and voids. But we'll just reestablish Boogie! Hey, you weren't supposed to attack Chrono, now you woke him up. But more importantly, we're going to Boogie Knights these two. Stop him again. Very nice. 
I'm on another falcon. Alright. I think that shit's about to take him out. Oh, not yet. Alright. We got one more falcon hit before these the two beasts are gone. This should do it. Alright, got him. See now that the mud is by himself, I think he takes reduced one more time. Now he'll go back to taking full damage. Now what we need to do is get to Ayla's turn. Uh, she still can't rock throw. I think that's all it's going to take, really. Definitely going to go back to that save point and heal up a little bit. This battle does take a wee bit out of your MP. Robo tackle. Almost dead. Almost dead. Ayla should be able to take him out, especially if she gets a good crit on there. Hey, quit throwing rocks at me. Don't throw rocks in the glass house. Whoa, crit attack, crit attack. 444. Hooray, we got him. Bye-bye, Mud Imp. 26 tech points, too. That's very nice. All right. Boss battle is over. Let's head back and um, head back to the save point. Use a shelter. Heal up, save up, and get ready for the next area. Now, the next area does have a very unique encounter. Um, the main reason why I didn't grind any tech points, I really find that there's no need to really grind. So you got shelter, heal up. Right. Save right here. This is actually one of my favorite areas in the game because the battles aren't too difficult. You get some really good stuff, really good equipment. And you start learning some of the better techs in the game. So this is really a tipping off point to almost the end game. Yeah. I could equip him, but yeah, I'll put a rainbow helm on him. But honestly, um, I think I'm going to pull Robo out right now because, you know, learning his Uzi punch would be kind of nice. But I think other people need to learn some techs. Uh, first one you need to learn tech is Mark. Let's get her in there, equip her up a little bit. We're not going to be keeping her in there for long, it's just mainly to learn her haste ability. Because trust me, we're going to need it. Alright. Really that's about the only thing that separates her, so uh... Uh, I guess I could just give her the black robe, I mean, it doesn't really matter, just for defense anyway. Uh, safe helm can stay, I think it's the best bow she can get. Yep, we're ready. Let's go. Let's head back to where we were. Ooh, that's a big chain. I guess we can walk up this chain. I mean, I never actually walked on a huge chain before. Where does it lead to? Oh, it's holding this huge rock. Whoa, that's... Okay. I don't know what's holding the actual mountain up but okay now you notice that little golden um enemy right there whenever you see one of those make sure you um equip both of your berserkers preferably on chrono and um Ayla. this is a very very unique um enemy you want to take them down as soon as quick as possible they give a lot of tech points probably the most tech points of anything in the game besides bosses i think all right Go. Let's initiate the encounter. We have a rubble. Now, at start of battle, of course, what this does, it locks out all your techs, everything else. So you're gonna be all you're gonna be able to do is physical attack anyway. So why not just have berserk? Yep, two attacks. The only thing is it has a very very high EP. Thousand tech, thousand XP, hundred tech points. Very nice. The main reason to do this, like I said, I want to get haste. Uh, I should only have like. It's not that many more tech points to learn, um, haste. I don't think it's that much. Let's see. Hey, only 66. Yeah, one more rubble fight and we should get it. Now, whenever you're not, just go back to your power gloves, or actually power rings a lot better. And I do want to re-equip, um, Ayla with the charm top. 
because there's a lot of stuff I plan on stealing in this next area. Okay, looks like we have another new man. They're just a bunch of birds holding goblins. Hey, I've seen worst um, enemies for battle against the Bantam Imps. Now, we do want to charm from the Bantam Imps. Let's see what they give me. An alloy blade, very nice. Another upgraded weapon for Chrono. Very good, very good, very good. Now, since only Chrono can equip alloy blades, I wouldn't suggest stealing any more than just the one. But usually every enemy in this area has a very, very good steal. Of course, you can't steal from the boulder rebels because they block your text. But everyone else, fair game. Make sure you steal, get all the goodies. Because believe me, they are worth it. And if you do enough damage to one of the Bantam Imps, they actually fall off the little bird carrying them, and you just not fight the Stone Imp instead of the Bantam Imp. They're not that difficult. Just keep up the damage. Um, HP down does inflict the sap status where you constantly lose HP, but it's not terrible. Once we get the upgraded uh, weapons and equipment from this area, yeah, it's going to be really nice. Alright, 696, 24 tech points. Very nice. More the Gensel. Hey, there you Very nice. Alright, let's see if we can equip that alloy blade on Chrono and see what it actually it does. Now, if we would have got the, um, that one weapon instead of the safe helm earlier, the alloy blade would have been superior to it. That's why I said don't worry about getting that weapon. It's pretty good for a slow, short amount of time, but you can upgrade that very quickly. Oh, see, we have another rubble, so let's go here. Let's equip our dual berserks on Ayla and Chrono and see if we can get another 100 tech points for the party. Berserkers. You want to make sure you can um, actually um, defeat these enemies. Um, they do not respawn, and if you don't defeat them a certain amount of time, they will run away and you'll lose out on 100 tech points. It'd be very, very, very sad. But that's why, like I said, with the Berserkers, it gives them a little bit of haste. And all they can do is attack anyway, so... Okay, we've got one hit. Let's see if we can get another kid in. Oh, come on, Colonel, you're better than that. Oh, Marley got him. Oh, we gotta hit him one more time. Ayla, come on. Come on, Colonel. Dang, it, Colonel. It's just a bunch of rocks. Will somebody hit the rock? There we go. Got him. Hooray. 1,000 experience, 100 tech points, and a mid -ether. And we learned haste. Very nice. Now, let's pull um, Marley out of here. That's pretty much all we're going to want for her for right now. And let's bring in Frog. Because there's an ability for Frog I want to get before the next area. It makes Frog really, really nice in the next area. Alright, come on. Come on, game. Yep. Bring in Frog. Yeah, I'm all game. Let's see, I want to equip them. Let's see, what kind of equip for all good? Uh, yeah, let's get the mermaid cap. Red mail is good. Speed belt, I don't think it's going to be great. Uh, I do want to give him the power ring. You, I'll give the power glove. It's actually a little bit more damage. And Ayla, I'll just give back a charm top in case I need to steal something. Which I don't think we're going to encounter any new enemies until the next screen. But, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, there's nothing here. I don't see anything. Did I just take a wrong turn? I guess I did. Oh well. Let's head here first. Yeah, there's nothing here. Wait. Okay, there's a chain over here. Walk over the same way. I missed a treasure chest. That gem it. Uh, game. Let's go back over here. Down here. Through this little secret passage. And we get a, a lowdown. Oh, let's take a load off our problems, I guess, with that load helm. No, it's 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 an alright helm, it's boost your defense, but I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the mermaid helm or the rainbow helms I've been stealing. Here we get some more bantam imps, um, just like before, just beat them up. Um, with frog in our party, we should be doing a lot more damage. Now, whenever you do run into those rubbles with frog in your party, I strongly suggest using the hero's badge with the master Mooney. 
mainly because it ups your hit quick percentage. And if you hit, you're probably going to, um, let's see if there's any dual attacks I can use. Nah, I wouldn't worry about it, just go out there with that. But yeah, uh, equip the um, Hero's Badge on, that way he ups his crits, because those crits can probably take out a Rubble in one shot, and you want to be able to kill those Rubbles as soon as possible. That way you get that juicy, juicy, juicy 100, 100 tech points. Gamma, Gamma. And after I'm done getting Frog's next ability, I'm probably going to bring in Luca, so I can have her learn Fire too. Just so I can round out and just get as many abilities through here as possible. See, another 24 tech points, very nice. Oh, frog gained a level, and learn Slurp Kiss and Bubble Hit. Uh, Slurp Kiss I may, may use, I don't think it's that great. Uh, bubble Hits, alright, I mean, they're okay. First, let's head over here. Oh, we got another rubble. Let's get on into our um, rubble stance, as I call it. Get our dual berserkers and the hero badge. That. Berserker on right there. And for you, let's get the. Where is it? Okay, there's a hero medal. That we can update crit, and maybe get a crit on these, and end this fight as soon as possible. I don't want to waste my juicy, juicy, juicy. Mwah! Tastes so good! 100 tech points. See if we can beat him in time. Come on, gang. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, lock out our abilities. Let's do that. And let's go. Oof. Dad, do it. Come on, now. Come on, frog. Do something. It's just a bunch of rock. You can't tell me it's that hard to damage. Unless it's just that durable. Okay, we got one hit in. Come on, we can do this. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Come on. Oh, I don't want it to run away. I don't want to miss out on these tech points. They're really, really nice. Oh, come on. I'm gonna do more times. Oh, he's gonna run away. I know it. He's gonna run away. It's gonna suck. Come on, come on, come on. It's one hit. One more. Come on. Oh, we got him. Do we get him? Yes, hooray! Thank you, thank you, thank you. 100 attack points. And we learned Leap Slash and Spire, which I'll never use. I really want to learn Leap Slash. It's really good in the next area. So we learned our ability with Frog. Let's take Frog out and let's bring in Luca. Um, because I want to learn Fire 2. Let's go back to our normal setup. Where's the hit? Where is it? Where did it go to? It's usually up top. Okay, there's a power ring. Uh, let's give her the power scarf for plus four. Nope, charm top, charm top. That's right. Duh. Got the charm top so she can charm things. And let's bring Luca into the party. So she can get on the tech point fun. That's why you get a chance to um, grind and get some extra tech points. Make sure everybody gets into it. We want to be as inclusive as possible. Alright, I don't think we can go anywhere here. Yep, there's nothing there. Alright. Let's see if I I don't think I... Did I equip Luca? I definitely will put that Taven's vest on her. Let's head over here. But can we reach the top of this area? And rescue, um... The next, uh... Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! If you like my content... Hit like, subscribe, you know, give a good little comment too, and see you all next adventure.